people, it's Matt A.D. here of In The Black, helping you achieve emotional, financial, and physical well-being. I'm gonna help you get over your parents, get over shit from your parents. So, this video, I'm not doing anything special. Uh, no special effects, it's another, another personal update of mine. Uh, in regards to my mother, what's going on with her. Um, I wanted to share this, just be real with y'all, because I'm a human being, you know, I'm not some like ultimate guru or anything. I do believe, if I remember correctly, one of my videos I did, I did mention discussing um, why I let her go. Um, how to let her go and things of that nature. If you haven't seen the video, for those of you who are new and new to my channel, quick backstory. So, what happened in the last couple of months was with my mother. I finally uh, got to the point where I could accept her for who she was and 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 finally realize that like the pattern, the conscious pattern, the unconscious pattern I'd, I'd been doing with her for so long of trying to appease her and getting rejected and feeling hurt, sad, anger, frustration, all the stuff which which I've been doing over and over again. So I finally released all that, let that go, loved her for who she is, accepted her, and finally came to the decision of uh, of asking the question actually of like how am I going to go about this in a way that works best for me, which is very important. Okay, it's a good question to ask yourself when it comes to dealing with your parents. How am I going to do this that works for me, and what kind of relationship do I want to have with them that works for me? Two important questions. So I decided to. Call her, call her, call her, let her know how I feel and reach out there and, and, you know, want to do stuff when I felt like it was deemed it was good for me to help out and help her out with things. Well, unfortunately, some events happened where I had a cousin of mine come up from, um, come down from Ohio for over a moment or a week and my mom didn't, my mom didn't say anything about it. I hadn't seen my cousins since I was like 12, I'm 32. And my sister, my sister, my mother, my cousin all ended up meeting up together and no one said anything, no one told me about it. And I was kind of like, this is my family and my cousin. Like, why is no one saying anything about this to me? Like, this makes no sense. And meanwhile, I'm the one trying to reach out, you know, I care and do this stuff. I'm thinking like, what's going on here? Then a couple weeks later, I'm out with my friend Sean at a bar, of course I'm drinking. Uh, my sister reminded me that uh, that weekend, it was my cousin Dion's wedding and we get a phone that night and I found find out that when it came to the guest list of what's going on, my mother, when she was writing down people's names or who's who's going to attend for guests to someone else's wedding, mind you, she put my mom put down her name, my sister's name, left me out completely, and then for whatever reason, no one in the family had said anything to me because they all thought that like it was told me because of my mom, presum presumably. My sister forgot to tell me. No one, no one knew that like my mom didn't put them put down my name, and that honestly crushed me. I got was upset. I was hurt. And I started crying. Obviously, when you were drinking, that hurts too. But it really hurt me. It, it, it was just like what? It, I, and I sat there and I was like. Like, here I am, and it, the fucked up part was, I just helped her like a week before with some things from, she donating some stuff to Purple Heart, and drove me back home. And I'm like, and I'm like, and I thought to myself, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I gonna reach out and, 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 and actually help, but yet you're gonna like, bar me from my own family, from someone else's wedding, you have no, that you, don't, you can't even do, but yet I'm having to make it the wrong. If you've been through a situation with your parent, if you have siblings, and any of you watching this, you know it, it's a really shitty feeling to be ignored on purpose or cut out on purpose by both or one of your parents while they give attention to your other to your other sibling or siblings. It's a really shitty feeling, and it really makes you feel like like you're a horrible child. You're like, what the fuck? Am I not? Do I not matter? Do I not? Do you not give a shit about me? You really feel like that, and so I had to work through emotions and things. And um, one thing I noticed, and I'm very self-aware, and if you're gonna do this journey of becoming a parent, you gotta develop the habit of becoming self-aware of your thoughts and your feelings. One thing I noticed as I was going through this, um, I noticed I was doing what's called emotional shadow boxing. I explained this in other videos before. What that is simply is that whoever you have beef with, parents, relationship, coworker, friends, whoever it is, you will have emotional arguments in your head, made up ones that have never happened, ever, but the very epic in your mind, the very emotionally charged, and in these fights, you're shit, you're, you're like, you could be screaming, you're saying whatever you want to this person, every emotional thing, whatever you want, and in every argument, you're seeing them get upset, they say something, but then, but then you, but then you say something back, but every one of them, there's a common, there are common things happen. One, you always win. Two, you actually will get extremely upset or angry as you think about the stuff, and it happens whether you're in bed, going to sleep, waking up, on the bus, driving, it happens. And it's a really 
really bad unhealthy habit they get into. It's there, I believe, to keep you aware of like, okay, there's things that you need to work on, but to constantly do this shit is not healthy. I've done before, and it's like annoying. So I noticed I was doing this with my mother, and I'm like, okay. Then my birthday came around. It's the last day of August of 2017. My birthday was a couple weeks ago. And after all these things with my mother, because what I had done after it was I had sent her a video about telling her how I felt. I said, and I said in the video, which I need to post a link, I'll post it below here, you can watch it. I had told her that she's in her 60s now, mid 60s, and she has the emotional maturity of a 16 year old, which she does. And I just said, I, I said a bunch of things to the best of my ability about coming off and being aggressive, but ah, I hate you and shit. Cause I, I just, there's more stuff I need to say because I need to say it for my own benefit because I've had so many years of these things that need to come out and be expressed. Either I tell her to her face through a letter or a video or I write it down, which I probably should have written it down, but I was still in a place of like, you know what? I'm not taking shit anymore. I'm gonna tell you how you feel. If you don't like it, it's fine, but I'm not gonna continue to enable your behavior because it's bullshit and I'm sick of it. It's not healthy for me, so pushing you away. So what I did. So I said in this video, of course, we have not spoken, and I know we're not gonna speak for a while, and which has happened before. Not only that, but two, I know that we're not done. Eventually we're gonna speak. But my birthday, I was like wondering if I would get a text at least. I knew I wasn't getting a phone call, and if I was, holy shit, that's gonna be amazing. So I have for my birthday, I didn't hear anything from her. Not a goddamn thing. Like, I didn't get a text, an email, I didn't get a phone call, nothing. And I was like, wow. Well, correction, I thought I didn't get anything. And everyone else is, that knows me, my friends, they're like, wow, she didn't say anything? I was like, yeah, that's my mom is. She's, if you, those of you parents that are like this, where they're willing to cut off their own children and family, you know what it's like to, where they will just not say shit to you on certain days. And it's like, how can you, especially as a mother, it's like, you think about it, it's like, this is your child that you gave birth to so many years ago. Like, you're not going to forget that day. That child came out of you. Like, it's a pretty epically emotionally charged event for you and for your child. Because they needed you physically to live, to be bright in this world. Like, how are going to be like, ah, fuck that shit. I know. Like, but it's funny when parents, have, when parents are so emotionally hurt and wounded, it will, they will do that because that's the best of what they know. Easiest answer I can give you. So anyways, so turns out about a week, or, about a week later, I checked my mail. I got a birthday card from her. I was like, holy shit. And... I was like, wow, I got a good card. I, I, I was surprised. And that actually, when I thought I wasn't gonna, when I thought I wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna get anything from her, I uh, it actually kind of hurt a little bit, just a little bit. Not overly, but just enough, just just enough to make you go, damn, like she didn't say anything to me, whatever. But then I got the card and I thought, okay. I actually I actually asked myself, is there gonna be money in this thing? Probably not. And then I thought, she wouldn't write anything in there? Well, turns out, I opened the card, mind you, I'm sorry, I opened the letter. The card, keep this in mind, the card said, happy birthday, open it up, and the card, again, the card said, happy birthday, you know, enjoy your day. My mom wrote, mom. And I was like, well, that's as far as I'm, <laughs> I actually felt better, and at the same time, I was like, of course, that's all she can write. She's only, she's only gonna write mother, of course, because that's just who she is. So, I said, take it, I said, take it as look, I got something, she, she sent me something, I'm okay with that. I'll accept it because because I was coming from a place of like I wasn't getting anything. I was like shit. She just ignored me, but I got something, so it overrides it, and I'll appreciate it for what it's worth. That's just me. It's better. To, I feel like it's better to feel better about stuff and be positive about it than 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 to be like what's bullshit and and this and this just just to destroy you and break you and break you down. I don't believe that. So she um after that. I wrote her birthday was last Saturday, and I wrote I wrote her a birthday note saying, "Hey, you know, I love you. I need to think about you. Thank you for sending me the birthday card, and hope your birthday is, you know, a good day and feel peace, joy, love, and happiness. And believe it or not, I do think about you. And um, I'm trying to light this up, getting kind of dark. So I had um, to know that. Of course, have I heard back from her? Nope. My mom never responded to my video I wrote, wrote, wrote I uh, sent her, but uh. I wasn't, I knew, I knew that at this point I know and I'm okay with, I really am okay with reaching out and saying her things and not getting a response because that's just who she is. That's how, what, she, what she knows, what she has come to the conclusion of how to respond and deal with stuff. None I knew about that. And, you know, when I actually, actually had to do more releasing, 
of work of work of emotions energy because I was still emotionally straight out of boxing and I realized there was more anger I had to deal with. So I wrote myself, wrote her a letter, didn't send this one. Everything I felt, how I felt about her and everything else, you know, all these things. I kept just brutal honesty, like calling her a bitch, fuck you, all just wrote it down. Wrote it down, folded it three times, burned it. I felt better. And then I noticed lately, I'm not having I'm not, I have been thinking about her in a negative way, in a way that makes me angry. Do I think better time to time? Yeah. She's my mom. I care. I love her. Like, this is, that's just me, though. That's my experience. You mean I feel the same about your parent, and it's fine. But for me, I still love her. I still care. Cause, because before all this happened, my, my mother and I's relationship was, it was good. I was in my teenage years where we split. And it makes sense. Knowing what I've, knowing, knowing what I've learned about her, it's really, it's really only a matter of time for the bombing to it because you can't be an effective parent, mother or father, if you have deep-rooted issues, emotional issues and wounds you have not dealt with and resolved and healed from, from childhood, teenage years, relationships before your children were born, and expect those things to not affect your relationship with your children. At some point, it will. As they grow up and get become you know older and more conscious of what's going on, it's going to affect them too, because they're gonna be like, wait, what the fuck? Like, it was only, not, I look back and now it's only a matter of time. I don't, know, I don't know how I didn't see this coming, but at that point in my life, I didn't know what I know now, you know? So we, what was I saying? So I had an from her and that's fine. And, you know, I, I wrote that letter and I, I don't have any emotional shot box. I noticed about this the other day. I was like, I was like, I was like oh shit, I was like, I thought about her. And this is one way you know that you have resolved the issues with anyone, any emotional stuff. You don't, you may not realize at first, there's two ways of knowing. One, you think about it and you don't have any emotional re response. You're just like, you just kind of go, okay. Or you may think it's funny, which is even better. So you have no one response or you may think it's funny. You're kind of like, well, it doesn't bother you. Or two, you just don't think about it anymore. You, you, that, that one's hard to no more notice, to notice more because we're just busy in our thoughts. But you notice that you just, it just won't happen. You just won't think about it. It's automatic. You're like, boom, it's gone. At that point, if you choose to, it's a choice. You can give love to your parent, but I love you, blah, blah, blah. And it's awesome, you know? So I noticed that. I want to share it with you all. Keep it real. I'm a human being. I'm always learning. I'm always trying to prove myself and, and get better, especially in this process, because if I'm better, it means I can give you more value, help you out yourself. And that's just being, that's being real and honest. Like, who the fuck am I to be like, oh, I'm perfect. I'm not like, I'm learning, I'm learning stuff, man. You know, I'm humble. I keep the humble, son. Mm. But anyways, um, I thank you for watching this whole damn thing. <laughs> I love you. Like this video, subscribe. I mean, comment, let me know your thoughts are. And if you feel like someone can get back from this, please share. And those of you who watch this, you know, if you watch this all the, the entire way through, I will do this offer. Only for this video, though. If you watch the entire way through, you want some coaching on you know, your parents. And the reason why you need it is because having issues with your parents affects you in a negative way, it does not serve you because it will affect you in the relationships you have. You want the relationships that you want. If you do, it comes at a price. Especially in, in the success you have with career, blocking from the money you want. It affects your, 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 who you are, how you feel about yourself, what you think about yourself. If your parents have always bogged you down and told you pieces of shit, that's negatively impact you always your life. And you always struggle more and you'll never get to where you want to be and be happy with who you are in your life. If you don't do these issues, you won't. You always have issues and it'll always follow you, it'll always fuck you up. It'll follow you and everything haunt you in ways that you're not aware of. And you wonder why you're struggling so much. When you get issues with your parents, that's the basis, that's the root cause. That's what a disease is. You fix that dis ease, the root cause, everything else can flow better and life becomes better because you are the center for life. And if you're jacked up from shit, it fucks up everything else in your life. That is the truth of it all. This is why you need to get it done. And we can help you out. Plus, you'll feel better, you'll be happier, you'll have more confidence, you'll sleep better now, you'll just be happier with life, which is awesome. So, if you've watched it all the way through, I'll give you two free coaching sessions and to get them. So, if you sign up, sign up for a newsletter, schedule them with me, and we'll talk. Go from there. Love y'all. Get in the black. Peace.